So I'm going to be heading off to Niagara Falls on the Canadian side, and then I'm going to be heading to Buffalo, New York. Uh, and I'm trying out this new look, a short sleeve polo with a bow tie. What do you I was going to stop into my usual Starbucks and get some water, and uh, the line was way too long. So right next door, though, is the Sheraton right here. And if you go there and you ask for water, they just walk up and be like, is there a water fountain? And they'll be like, no, but we can give you a bottle of water. And I'll be like, oh, sure. And then they ask you, like, how many do you want? And I'm like, I'll take a bottle of water. And they're like, wait, make that two. So I got two. And they're fresh. They're cold. It's so good. Free water. I've never heard about that. That's so good. So definitely come to the Sheraton here and get free water. And then when you first enter Niagara area, you'll come in, like, over here. Go up here to this, above this, there's a parking place that pays a ton of money. But right above it, there's just some random lot with this girl standing there. But it's only 5 bucks for the entire day. It's the best price ever. Everywhere else, it's like 30 bucks, 20 bucks, things like that. So definitely go there. I believe it's on McGrail Avenue. M-C-G-R-A-I-L Avenue. So definitely check that out. It's either on that street or one more street parallel north, something like that. I think I just realized that the reason this reminds me of the American side is because I actually came to the Canadian side years ago, not the American side. <laughs> but here is what you all have been waiting to see. Niagara Falls. Still, this is nothing compared to Montmorency or whatever those falls were that I went to in, Mont in Quebec. Those were definitely better than this. On the Canadian side, the smaller fall, the one that's all the way at the corner, it's like a circle, is the one that you can get closest to. And look, there's Bay of the Mist. I remember from last time when we went, it wasn't that impressive. You don't get that that close. Like I said, you gotta go to the fall. I mean, you have to go to the falls that are in Quebec, the Montmercy Falls. Those are so much better than this. I'm still going to check out the U.S. side, see if it's any better. Yo, check out these epic birdhouses. They're so detailed. Look at that. At least I think they're birdhouses. Oh, look at this green one. It looks like a castle kind of thing. Something I totally recommend doing on the Canadian side is coming all the way out past the flower garden and looking back at Niagara Falls and the city. That's beautiful. Plus, you get to come out here and see more of the waves. It'd be so cool to whitewater raft this. Oh my gosh. And look, even further is this beautiful little like island sort of park. Look at this. This is awesome. Look at all the seagulls. Hey, move! Definitely have to continue past Niagara Falls more to keep seeing all this awesome stuff. There's more to do than just see the falls and go to all the expensive stores and rides. Look at all these guys. This is so nice. Peaceful. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm following you. Will you move if I bike towards you? And actually, if you come down to this park, like I said, parking is free here, so you can park for free all day. And it's a place you have to go, so... Check this out, you can also ride one of those tram things if you go higher up than the falls. The falls are down there. You come back up towards the Marriott. Alright, so I just went up to the top of this amazing hotel. Look at the view. It's the hotel with the casino. Don't know the name, but oh my gosh, 35th floor, beautiful. They were like working on the room, so I just walked into one of the open rooms and look at this view. Again, guys, from an even better view. Look at that. That is beautiful. All those suckers down there. I'm up here. 
in a free hotel room. See, check that out. I just saved 30 bucks. And I actually probably just got lucky because on the 35th, they were actually doing construction. So that's why all the doors were wide open and everything. And I went to the 33rd floor and all the doors were closed. There was no view at all. So I might have just gotten really lucky that they were doing construction. And the guys were pretty chill. They let me take photos. I was like, can I take a photo? I asked them in Spanish because they all spoke Spanish. And they're like, yeah, sure. Go ahead. And then they talked to me about the hotel a little bit too. It was cool. Check out this ride. Woo! Yeah, baby! Well, that's it for Niagara Falls on the Canadian side. Now I'm going to the U.S. side. Gotta go through customs. I realize how long it takes to cross the border. So definitely plan for a long time. Still sitting. All right, sitting here waiting in customs line, I keep seeing tons of officers walk back to their booths with like handfuls of stuff. I'm wondering how much stuff people be losing, belongings, things that they bought, whatever. Like, I just don't understand why. Hopefully they don't take anything from me because I literally didn't buy a single thing that I'm taking back. So. I tried to spook me a little bit. He had this like serious face on. He was like, how'd you get all the money? You're doing all this by yourself, really? And I was like, yeah. Why I was doing it, I was like, because right now is the time to do it. I don't have a job. I don't have a family. He was like, oh, that's a valid argument. And then he let me go. Oh, it was only like half an hour. Not too bad, I guess. But, uh, yeah. But it still is a serious mess after you get through customs. This part's going to try to take another 15, 20 minutes. There was a marathon just here earlier today in Buffalo. I'm in the convention center trying to find stuff to do. Welcome to Buffalo! <laughs> Check out this mega mouse trap. It's like four times as big as normal mouse trap. You can't really tell. Maybe that helps. Look how big that is. So before I continue on to exploring uh, Buffalo, I want to explain what I did at Niagara and what you guys should do. So the next couple snaps are ones that you're going to want to save if you're planning on going to Niagara on the Canadian. So I came in from over here which is the normal entrance. I parked right here for like five bucks, great deal. Made my way down, got, obviously got some photos in front of Niagara. But then what I did is I continued past to the power plant and then to the beautiful garden that's over here and then the island that's right over here and over here and right here where the island is then right here, or here's the island, here's the garden. Where the garden is, there's free parking as well as here at the island. So you guys should definitely go here to park if you wanna park for free. And then I continued around a little bit further, went around, came up this way, and came to this hotel right here. This is the hotel I went up to the top. So, quick recap. You should come in from here, either park here, or park all the way back over here, which is fine because you'll be wanting to visit this garden anyways. And then walk, walk here and see the stuff, and then go and find a hotel that you can go up to the top floor and get a beautiful view, almost just as high as the tower. I think it's great. And then, of course, if you want, you can go up this big main road right here that's got, like, tons of stuff on it. Uh, it's got, like, Ripley amusement parks, arcades, uh, restaurants, Rainforest Cafe. It's got all that stuff, but that's stuff you have to pay for. And if you're ready to spend a ton of money, then go for it. But otherwise, there's lots to do without having to really pay, spend that much money. Uh, check out the long tramway. This is so cool. Buffalo, New York. And I think I'm going to ride down it. Ding, 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 ding. Tram coming through. Looks like there's a party and carnival going on down here. Yo. Oh yeah, look at the carnival. Do some paddling. Some paddle boating. That's so cool. They have a fire department here. Somebody likes their Harleys in Buffalo. You know, it's so funny, I just always seem to show up on the right days when things are going on that are random. Check out this thing. Oh, that's so cool. I have... Oh, going down. The ship is so cool. Where they do a little cooking, the radar room. Look at that.
gun fire control. All the details about the ship. Check this out. Their living quarters are so much nicer than on a submarine. I remember when I went in uh, New London. Look at that. They have their own sink in there, a bed. I think these are for like the more upper class. Definitely more upper class. This is what's for the lower class. Uh -huh. But their cafeteria, the mess, is banging. Look at this. This is a little chill place, lounge. But then even better, this part seems even better. Look at this. This is like the, all the beds and whatnot. Look at how many there are. They're like stuck on here too. They're like rigid. This is where the magic happened for the cafeteria. It's actually... Eh, I feel like it's pretty big. Are these for ice cream? Mm. Check this out. The ship's store. Marlboro, Snickers, Three Musketeers, Ritz Crackers. I can't believe they had all this. I wonder if it's really true. Dove soap, tobacco. Man, these downhills are so steep. The main stop valve. Whoa, this is cool. And check out their communal bathrooms. These aren't that bad, actually. Got all the sinks. Got a couple showers. Some more showers. They got good curtains, too. All the toilets. Line there. Couple urinals. It's not that bad. And then this is where we shoot the gunner. Oh yeah. Oh, there's the big caliber that I was putting in earlier. Ah, yeah, that's cool. Now on the second ship, and really like the bigger the ship gets, the more like spaced out things get. So like the cafeteria is a lot bigger. There's actually like several cafeterias here. I also have an operating room and a dentist office. Crazy. The bathrooms are bigger. The beds are bigger. Look, they have a barber shop too. Crazy. See, look, they have the bigger beds now. And there's the captain's office. They got a nice office, man. The officer's stateroom. Check out how nice it is in here. Check out this carnival, it is crazy. Oh my gosh. Look at those things out there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Man, Buffalo really seems almost like Old West, like it's almost like abandoned. There's so many abandoned buildings, especially like factories and stuff like that. It's kind of weird. And the streets are wide open. I just saw these guys like on their motorcycles like speeding down the roadway, doing probably drag race or something. Man. I'm not too sure how I feel about Buffalo. Have any of you guys ever been? Let me know how you liked it and what you thought of it. I keep hearing all this commotion. I'm going to follow it to see where it goes. Look at that. Fire trucks, ambulance, all that stuff. There's a lot of it, too. I'm going to pull out the, the, the fire hydrant and whatnot. You can see where there was a fire in that building right there. Looks like they got it, though. Dang, look at all They got the whole thing going on here. Look at that. Crazy. It's a fire truck! Woo! There was a poor firefighter back there who got injured, actually, too. I think he, like, cut his finger or he got burnt on his finger. Nothing too bad, though. It's always seem... I just always seem to end up, like, in the right place at the right time if you want to say that it's more like the wrong place wrong time there are tons of cops on like on every corner i wonder if like buffalo is like a crime ridden like area cars and bikes literally drive right down the tramway area and like it's right there that's crazy that's so cool all right so official review of buffalo new york uh there's not really much to do 
Uh, the only cool thing to do is go to the Military and Naval Museum you can, and a submarine, which is pretty cool. And then the other thing is, hopefully you come on a day when there's an activity going on, like the carnival that was here today, then you have tons of stuff to do. Otherwise, I didn't see much. And I just realized that this must have been from when I fell the other day. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize that. Dang. But that's why I'm taking it easy the next couple of days. I'm trying not to do much. Um, no, Not much biking and stuff like that. It's just hot out and whatnot. Um, like, there's tons of stuff I wanted to do yesterday and stuff that was physical. Like, they had those pedal bikes on the water, which was so cool. They had paddle boarding, which I've always wanted to do. Stuff like that. But hopefully I can do all that in California when I get there. So now I'm going to be starting to make my starting to make my way toward Detroit. But it's like four or five hours. So hopefully there's stuff to do along the way. Um, I'm going to be doing that today and tomorrow. I just finished scaring myself to death. Not really to death, but I was empty on gas and like there was no exit for like the next 10 miles on the highway. I don't no idea why. Finally found a gas station and it's $2.59 a gallon. That is ridiculous. I was on my way to Cleveland and uh, I just saw this view and I had to like take pictures of it. Stop taking pictures. Check this out. Just look at how the colors are changing over time compared to earlier. That is so beautiful. Here is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. about the storm here like crazy I bet. Look at that. This is my kind of Where's that lightning? Come on. I want to see that lightning again. Oh I missed it. It was over here. Yeah I'd love to share. Dang. Oh look at that. It's so cool. Cleveland's beautiful though. Yo, check this out. It's starting to pour, too. Giant drops are falling from the sky. I'm about to get soaked. Yo, check this out. Ridiculous.
are the key takeaways. First of all, Buffalo, New York, pretty much nothing to do. I wouldn't go there. And if you're there, though, definitely go to the military and naval um, military and naval uh, museum. Uh, it's pretty cool. You get to go on two boats and a submarine, which is pretty cool. Um, and you get to see really how they live. Just a general key takeaway is that I think that if you go to a city, you should definitely be there for the early morning and the late night. Like, those are the two most beautiful times of a city, I think. That being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Good night. If you can listen and listen and hear the thunder that there is here, it's ridiculous. The rain, of course, is crazy. Lightning, amazing. But you can hear the thunder. See if we can hear it again. Well, you saw that lightning for sure. Yes, I am watching Casey Neistat in the background. I don't think I'm going to get as big of a, a thunder as I got before. Did you see that lightning? That's amazing. Ridiculous. All right, now I'm going to go, guys. i got to get some work, some work done.